Dakota is head coach Todd Lee, student athletes Tyler Hagedorn and Tyler Peterson. Normal format with an opening statement from coach, and then we'll turn it over to questions for the student athletes. Go ahead, coach. Well, it was a tough, uh, a tough game to lose for a number of reasons. Um, we had our chances down the stretch and uh, didn't make enough plays. Um, Got to give credit to North Dakota. Um, the, uh, you know, when we, we got up eight or ten, um, the momentum changed. I think, um, I feel like, on that tech call. And then after that, it kind of got, you know, we had, we had trouble scoring and, you know, we had some uh, uh, missed opportunities. So uh, they did a great job. I want to uh, thank these two guys up here, being seniors, leading the group. Um, you know, we have a special group of, of seniors, five guys, and they, uh, they've done a great job, and it's a tough way for them to go out. There's a lot of tears in the locker room, and, uh, you know, our, our guys worked really hard. This is March, and games come down to one or two possessions, one or two calls, one or two plays, and you see it every day, and it's just hard being on the end of it. We missed a couple front ends. We missed the tech. Uh, both those Cody's uh, you know has made free throws all year um, we had some uh, decent looks um, you know the start of the game I felt like we um, were in and out of possessions a little bit too much um, you know down the stretch at they we got the offensive foul on TP we missed the front ends um, we, you know text was earlier but um, you know, we had some we had some decent looks. Um, we just, you know, I have to go home, uh, you know, and watch the film and and see for sure. But obviously, we didn't score uh, well down the stretch. Do you agree with their assessment? You got what you were looking for defensively on that Stewart basket to put them ahead. That was what you guys were looking for. Yeah, you know, Stan guarded him right before that on the previous possession. Did a really good job. So we talked about it in the huddle and. Uh, you know, he's tough to guard no matter who it is. Stan did a good job on the previous possession. So we talked about do we keep, um, do we not switch it or do we switch it? And we decided to switch it. And, uh, you know, he, he got Stan off balance and, and was able to make a, a jump shot. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a, he makes a 17 footer and TP misses a four footer. And so it's a make or miss deal. And, we TP, as he said, he, he works the hardest of any of our guys. That's a shot that, you know, he got in the lane. It was a little bit contested, but it's a pretty easy shot for him. And he just, you know, he just didn't make it. Um, so um, they make it, we miss it, and that's what happens. Coach, Marlon said uh, they, they were going to do that last possession on Whoever Stanley was guarding, was that something, I mean, is that, I don't know, just a testament to, I don't say testament, but, you know, they, they, they're focused on going after Stanley on that. Is that something they had seen in the film, or is that something they, they, they felt they wanted to attack Stanley? Yeah, you know, we've, do, we've guarded it different ways, and, and uh, as I said, the previous possession, Stan guarded it well. And, uh, you know, um, so we knew that they would set a ball screen, and it's, they're going to get who they want in the mismatch unless you show on the ball screen and don't switch it. And we ended up switching it, and Stan's a pretty long athlete. And as I said, he did a good job on the previous possession. But Marlon, you know, got him off balance and stepped back and made that 17-footer. Todd, we talked last week. Uh, hate to ask the question, but this is going to be extra hard to swallow because of the fact that you've got such a senior-laden team and had high expectations. Yeah, and uh, absolutely, this is this is hard no matter what. But it is hard when you have you know older guys, and uh, you've got five seniors. Four of them had been here for Hags has been here for five years. The other three, four years. And I told them, you know, they should be very proud. They've averaged over 20 wins a year, and they won a Summit League title, you know, in the regular season. Great kids, um, unbelievable classroom. Three of them are already in grad school. Cody's working on his second 
masters. I mean, they're unbelievable kids. So it is hard, you know, it, you, you want to uh, send them out, you know, the right way. Um, but look, I've been doing this for 30 years and that's, you know, it doesn't always work that way. And that's what's, that's what's hard. Uh, you know, this, you can turn on the TV and watch any game and this time of year and guys are getting their hearts broken. And that's why people love watching it. But that makes it tough, too. Last question. Should the opportunity come, would you guys be interested in playing CBI, CIT, NIT? Yeah, we, we will talk to our team and uh, our administration and, and make that decision. Um, and so, you know, our guys, it, it, you go through this and, and it is tough because right now you don't, you know, you don't want to really even be talking about it because guys are heartbroken and uh, but we will definitely talk to our administration we'll talk to our group and see if that's a possibility you know they 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 have those tournaments for you know teams that that are somewhat in our situation you know where you know you don't get in the NSA tournament but he had a good year and you know I you know we had a very good year you know we had some injuries during a stretch but uh, we had, a, we had a good year and, uh, you know, you, you have those tournaments for that reason, you know, for the kids that they're going to end it like this or they can go on and try to win a championship in, in another, another uh, tournament. So we'll talk to the administration, our players, and see what we want to do.